Hi, and welcome again with our ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework. Today will be part tw uh, 12 of our series. So, uh, our last videos, uh, we finish, let's close this one. Okay, so, uh, we already finished our uh, student controller. Uh, I think just we forgot how to create uh, just how to create remove or delete uh, so just let me add this one before move to the last controller will be about enrollment so just we have for enrollment last one will be but let me adjust this uh, let's say uh, uh, public I action will be uh, delete Okay. This delete will be a return view it will be uh, HTTP get same as last one. Always delete will be uh, will get ID. So first, first of all, we need to get the uh, the student. So we need to say student. Say student. We have same this one. So yeah. Uh, let's call it model equal underscore student dot. We need to get just one student. So with ID, let's say this one like this. Okay. After that, send our model. Uh, same last videos when just this one uh, should be null nullable so we'll back to our uh, interfaces the student remove should be null even this one should be null okay back to the repositories student Should be null and normal. That's it. Now we create the confirmation, delete confirmation will be delete post with action name uh, will be uh, let's say same that one. It will be the action name will be delete. Will be public i action. Del net confirm. Okay. Return. Sorry. Return view. What we'll do here? Same. We get int id. This id will delete remove and give the ID that's it so let's save everything and create our view will be delete forum mm, delete for a student Uh, by the way, I just add uh, this project on GitHub, so you can get it from GitHub. I'll show you, and always I will update it uh, daily. Uh, I will uh, put this link too in the comment on, uh, with the YouTube video. At uh, least you can get the uh, full code from this one here. Okay, that's it here. Let's close it. I think we don't need all this, all this information, but uh, uh, let's say you want the, the student just let give first name and last name only. It's not important all of this data to be showing there. Make it traffic just a little bit like this. 
Okay, save it. I'll just test it before we do anything. So this one should be delete the student with confirmation message. Okay. Let me add it same time to let's go down and down to views share layout. What's happening here? Okay. Let's go student indexed. I suppose you want the first one. Delete. You want to delete this student first name and last name as we mentioned there. We don't need more. Delete it. And this one after delete, what should happen? Should back to the index. We forgot to do it. So now back again to the. But before back to our code. Uh, let's change this one home. Let's say to stew. The end action will be index student okay I put it in the toolbar only and the closest one so after we remove it and finish we should return to uh, say redirect to action which action to back to the index that's it so now we we suppose we finish this one. But sure we'll back in the future because we need to change something too. Now we need to add a new controller. Uh, it will be uh, which one? No, not this one. It will be enrollment. Let's copy same name. Okay. Let's go to add new controller. Empty controller. Enrollment. Add. So this one same as the student will be add and delete and get all the enrollments. And we'll see here what we can change in the modules. So first things we need to say uh, private uh, read only I enrollment. Uh, let's call it. Enrollment, okay. Okay, my CTO, my constructor will be in sorry, enrollment. Let's call it my enrollment. Will be here underscore enrollment. That oh, sorry, equal underscore I enrollment. I think two times I enrollment that's it so if we first things we need to do uh, to add our action uh, index action controller uh, to return all the enrollment uh, table to be get enrollments that's it here uh, second one will be uh, for uh, to add enrollment so it will be public i action uh, get okay this great will read just will return view nothing more than this second one will be http will be post the public i action result same name will return view now Let's see if we need a change in the after so but here we need now we need enrollment field let's call it module this module will be from enrollment type so here if model state that is valid this model state is valid if I didn't put anything in my uh, models here enrollment if I didn't put here requirement it will not do anything so I need to put here uh, requirement required sorry uh, 
if it's if I put this one now it will be working but without it nothing will work so I need it here required uh, okay uh, message error message here what I need to put my error message I will say a student is uh, say is Rick wired okay and I will copy same this one and it's same for course course is required will be here okay and here this one I required okay and same as for that time will be default there okay but we put all of them because if you put there uh, about the about this one here if you put it this one model state without this uh, uh, tags here or attribute this one here one well, thing will happen grad will be default required okay no need after that let's say just uh, here in that here start that uh, I think we need to put uh, display name too cause display name uh, this what we need a display name student name and for the course to say which one here can under this one course name and start and then say we can put them too start it and under this one in there this one it's called one word no need it's okay to close this one yes now uh, let's say underscore enrollment that will be add what will add my models what I get from there after that return uh, let's say redirect to action will be after we add it will be back to the index that's it so uh, let me check here uh, so we need that first one the index Enrollment. After that, we'll add grade two. That's it. Nothing more. Close it. After that, grade. Grade. Take time. Let's bit of the right all of these things here. Too much. Okay. Close it. Uh, I think now we can uh, test it. So let's run it. At the same time, let's open visual. Uh, let's open the SQL Server. Just test it. After that, we'll try to finish this video. SQL Server, check our table. Uh, let's go to database. My database, student DB. My tables. I need now to insert enrollment. So select all. Oh. 
it's empty now okay let's back now here let's say enrollment on index that's a great I got good yet actually I have here nothing just I should uh, add grade like I write name no actually need here one two three uh, drop down list so we'll add this one in uh, the next video because I don't need to write any name here or a course name just I choose uh, dynamic should be and even the grad so we'll see how to do that in the next video uh, just see you next video bye bye